Hey guys, it's JGM Videos. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the 3.1 firmware for the iPhone, the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch first generation, and second generation. Your device has to be on 3.0 firmware for this to work. Alright, so just to show you, I'm on, and I have a second generation iPod Touch. about and there we go 3.0 I'm on 3.0 right now and I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak the 3.1 firmware for the iPod touch second generation it's gonna be the 3.1.1 firmware it's gonna be 3.1 for all the rest and the iPod touch third generation doesn't have a jailbreak yet all right so what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to download the corresponding firmware for your device uh, in the description. And for me, I have the iPod Touch second generation. So I got the iPod 2 second generation 3.1.1. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to open iTunes with your iPod connected. Alright, so once this is open, you're going to make sure it's plugged in, and you're going to have to put your iPod in DFU mode. Alright, I'll show you how to do that right now. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds till the screen turns black, and you hear the chime on the computer. Then, once you hear the chime and the screen turns black, you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until you hear the chime again. Alright, so let's do it. Ready? I'm holding both down. Alright, there's the chime. Then you can let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Alright, the chime... I don't know if you could hear that, but the chime just went off. So your iPod is uh, successfully in DFU mode. So now, as you can see, it says iTunes has detected an iPod and DFU mode. Alright, so just click OK to that. Then you're going to want to hold down Shift and click the Restore button right there. You want to hold down the Shift key and you want to click the left click. Alright, so I'm going to do that right now zoom in on that for you. I'm going to hold down shift, click restore. Alright, now you get this browsing menu. Find the firmware you downloaded from the description, which is um, one second. Hold on, one second. Alright, sorry about that guys, I couldn't find my firmware. Alright, here it is, iPod Touch 2.1, 2, uh, 1.3.1. So, you're going to select that, then I click Open down here, and it's going to extract the software. It's going to take a little while, and once that finishes, you will have your iPod jailbroken, or iPhone. And some, you're going to get Cydia and Icy with this. And if you get an error 1600, that means that you didn't put DFU mode, that you didn't put your iPod in DFU mode successfully. Okay, so once that finishes, see it's going pretty quick. I'll be back to show you that it actually worked. Hey guys, uh, as you can see here, I'm getting the apple, the pineapple, which means then I get this and it's going to load. That means that it's jailbreaking. Alright, and if you get a 1600 error, which I did about three times, you can try this. Try connecting your iPod in to your computer and open up iTunes. 
don't put it in DFU mode. Just shift restore and use the firmwares that I gave you in the description. Alright. I'll be back once this finishes. Okay, so this is almost finishing loading. So keep on waiting and let's see what happens after it finishes loading. Alright, all that finished loading. And now I get the pineapple, which is most likely my boot logo. Alright. Now it's telling me to connect to iTunes. And yep, here we go. Connect to iTunes. There you go. Sidia and Icy. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And just so you know. Three point one point one. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.